Travis, um, something you need to know about, but I gave out yesterday worth of like $50,000 of my personal time and sponsorship. So we can talk about this event on August 12th. I decided I can give it my time. It costs a lot of money, but I figured we can do a good deed for the sport and talked about Magnus event on July. Ooh, yeah, August 12th, yeah, exactly. Where yeah. John Buzek is pulling Todd Hutchings, Matt Mass pulling Sergey. A lot of great matches, to be honest. So we can go one by one. So um, I don't even know. So, I mean, it starts with... First of all, hats off to Magna, because this, oh, yeah. this looks... This looks expensive to me. Hey, I mean, I'm looking at the card, man, and she done put it together. And no, no, you're, looking, added, you're looking at John and Todd, and you know it's expensive. Yeah, yeah, and it's, yeah, exactly. And the fact that Core Sports is coming over there with them cameras and packing them all up. So hats off to Magna. There's no doubt that. Um, she, and she was awesome. She came to the tournament, the East First West thing, and um, yeah. So, yes, yeah, sir. let's do this. Yeah, let's. This is a good one to go over. So, first actually, of, this is Magnus, probably a future partner of us. Oh, 100%. 100%. If possible, we would love to give Magna, um, if she could give us a spot on that card for maybe, you know, who knows what we can come up with, but something. I can't particularly come to Canada anymore, um, but for the rest of the people. Everybody welcome. Everybody welcome to come. Uh, all right. Yeah. Oh. Then uh, where where are we? Where are we? Where are we? So I lost the thing now. Okay. So I guess we're going to start. I mean, there's a couple. Oh, there's like three women matches. That's awesome. So there is, I'm assuming, going to start with the guys of Kirsten coming from all the way from Malta to compete against Alan Ford, who is Canadian. Yeah, I don't know. This is the tattoo guy, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I don't know how good he is. Alan Ford's pretty good, but the problem with Alan Ford is there's Alan Ford that's, you know, busting Todd Hutchings' hand and close to being the man at 190, and then there's an okay Alan Ford that, um you know, doesn't really have that much. So interesting to see which one shows up. But once again, no clue. Where's the Kirsten from? Italy? Malta. Malta, Malta, small, small island out there by, I feel like it's UK, Italy, Spain, and all that area, right? Like you Oh, the soft you. part, the soft part of Europe, okay. No right, right. So uh, that's a plus, plus for no, Alan. No, 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 that will show how great I am at matchmaking, because that was purely my idea, because I was invited to pull... I think to pull Kirsten, actually, but Magda, Magda has a set rule, like, oh, if you have a super match two weeks before, you're out. So therefore I was out and she didn't know who to put. And I'm like, well, if you want to do me, I'm just a little bit stronger than Alan Ford. Let's put Alan Ford and Kirsten. That's a great nice. match. So I he feel like that's, nice actually, that's going to be pretty good, actually. I feel like they are in that ballpark. And Kirsten could be a little too strong for Alan, I think, too. So stylistically, it'll be interesting. So, all right. And then we have, I'm going to assume I'm going to go over the girl match. Black Scorpion and Tamara Mitz. I'm assuming that's interesting. Line up. Super interesting to see where, because we know that um, the Black Scorpion's all in. Like, she is on the circuit. She's around arm wrestling on a weekly basis. She's whenever, listen, if you're a female arm wrestler and you come to the United States, you are getting picked up by James and Michelle and getting carted around Niagara Falls. Like, they are committed. They are involved. Every single day of the week, she is getting better trying. Now, ran into a roadblock with, with Elizabeth Mozik. Now, I also watched Michelle work like a dog, all for the pre-registration. You know, it's 200-degree heat. She's out there helping people get registered. Um, and the match was close, right? So I got a feeling that, there's even a hyper focus after that event at East First West, and it's on. Is Tamara giving that same that same energy? Because you know when Tamara, I think Tamara actually a pretty good record against Michelle in the past, but this is you know this is going back four or five years now. So 
it's all depends on where Tamara's at, you know. So, so I would imagine that Tamara, like Travis Bajan, I think we were talking about it the other day, like someone else is trying to call Terrence Offerman, guys that had some skills five, six years ago, trying to get back into this game with this amount of money, with this card, with this exposure, probably going to be an uphill battle for Tamara. Right, yeah, it depends on what's going on through your life, too. Hey, twenty dollars super chat, cooking with Island. Greetings from Republic of Palu. I am a fan and wish you the best. Take your Republic of Palu with a Kazakhstan looking flag, like a little. We also need we need some we need to invite um, an international fan to the tournament, and we'll make sure we hey. take care of we take care of their their um. It's me. Their hotel stay. Their hotel stay. So oh, anybody yeah. that is not in the United States that wants to come, September 23rd, we got a hotel for three night maximum. Three night maximum. It's the quality in and spring meals. Very shaky, but depending on where what part of the Europe you come from. Could be heaven, could be an upgrade or a downgrade, depending on if you're in the soft part like Ermi's then it's a downgrade. If you're coming from Siberia like Artem, it's the four seasons. Oh my God, the best day. You got the floor, the floors that has a little carpet on it and I would be good. Dollar <laughs> 99 Super Chat from David Shubich. Allen Ford Focus or Allen Ford GT? Allen Ford Fiesta, my man. Allen Ford Fiesta. Allen Ford longer. Allen Ford's long, Allen Ford is longer than, than um. Yeah, yes. he is. He is. He is uh, awkwardly. He's like 220. He's got a little Kevin Bondgard in him, a little Clay yeah. Manis in him. Oh, David, David Shubich, I come, but I'm a degenerate like Travis and I can't visit Canada. <laughs> yeah, what is I mean, how crazy is that? Yeah, John that I, can, I don't even John, understand it. Yeah. John Hodgson, nine nine dollars super chat. This is a really good card. What's up, guys? What's up, John? I'll see you in two days. All righty. So, Tamarian Black Scorpion, yes, she'll be really nice. I'm not sure who is the other lady on the side of Heidi. I know it's Sarah right. Wilson on the very right. Hold on for a second. Hold on. I got to get this. Hold on. Somebody just knocked on the door. Carry the conversation. Who knocks at your door at 10.52? There's a double hammer by the thing. Just whack them in the head. All right, if anybody can help me out, who is the beautiful lady next to beautiful Heidi on the left side of it? Is that Tamara's daughter looking by the hairstyle? Not sure. Everybody has a curly hair in the flyer. So. Hey, do I need to sign anything? Yes. Because I'm, I'm in the middle of this show. Can I do that real quick? Hold on, Artem. I got a dishwasher being delivered. Dishwasher? Yeah. Oh, you do have a dishwasher. <laughs> yeah, well, we want you. I was going to dishes while you was here because of this damn dishwasher. Uh, oh, so we're going to get interrupted one more time. It's I got a so, sign for it. So go ahead. What's the next match? What's the next match? Well, I'm not quite sure the lady that's next to Heidi. Somebody disrespectfully said that's Cody Wood because Cody has the same beautiful curly hair. So I'm not sure who Sarah Wilson is pulling. I'm just going to go with Sarah. And I don't know the lady. I just don't know the lady. Could be Tamara's. Oh, uh, Magda, just uh, when you thought it was a good idea for Artem to go over man. the card, you and him did not discuss who it's was so, on the card. I have no so idea. My good. eyesight is so bad, I can't even see. It's all good. Next match, Heidi Corner and Sarah Backman. I'm going to go. Oh, with I don't I'm gonna... know. Like, I tell you, man, Sarah's marriage has kept us from really knowing her form. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like, did she get hacked or something? Did her Facebook get hacked? Yeah, yes, she did. Yeah, so I see some photos and her doing some stuff, but I can't tell if this is today. Or if this was like eight years oh, ago. Oh, the your Facebook page, that business one, got hacked by some dude who keeps rocking it and posting the weird stuff or the personal stuff and keeps collecting all the money. All the money. Yeah, I, yeah whatever the deal is. I don't, I mean, listen, I love her. She's awesome. Ambassador, human being. If she is, um, if she is anywhere near her form, it's she's the heavy favorite, right? I just know that I have such admiration for Heidi, right? I'm such a fan. 
and I know she's such a good person. So, and she's the underdog. Ooh. And I was there, and um, I saw a drip, a connection in Vegas where she she flashed Sarah. So now, was that Sarah was up one nothing in the best two out of three? I don't know if it was a referee connection problem, a um, a slight misjudgment by Sarah because then she got her shit together and won the next match. So yeah, I, you know, all That's- indications are that Sarah is the is the favorite. But man, am I rooting for Heidi like crazy? Are you okay? And I would love to see it, and it would also be if Heidi wins in a war, it's it's amazing day. Right. But if Heidi can dominate somehow, then it opens up a lot of doors, I believe. Um, and honestly, Sarah and and um, Gabriella's match was, in my opinion, so close. Like, even though it was a two to nothing, firmly think everything's intact. If you really know our wrestling and you keep watching that thing, that was close. Gabby almost ran out of gas against Sarah. So any person that can give the illusion that they can take care of Sarah should also be able to take care of Gabby and give that match to uh, to Bora Bora that I think we are waiting for. All Just right. somebody to give us. Like right now, Gabby going back against her now, I don't know if it's that as exciting, but if someone is able to take care of Sarah and Gabby, or at least take care of Sarah so convincingly that that match could happen. That'd be a great opportunity. Um, so yeah. we'll see. But, you know, also, too, you know, she's got to be stronger than she's ever been. So she's another one. You know, it's hard. You can't talk about how hard it is for Travis Bajan, how hard it may be for Terrence Opperman, how disgustingly hard it could be for Tamara, and then not put Heidi in that same category as someone who's been out long enough that hopefully the level and the tide has not risen to where it's, uh, you know, she's not a part of that game anymore, which is my fear. My fear is not being a part of the game, not being invited to the penthouse. You know I mean? I always had a VIP card. Nowadays, I got to go check with the manager, see if I'm still on the list. Hey, is my name still there? Yeah. What, did, did, did they say anything about me? Can I come? Oh, yeah. Well, you can be. You're the man. I got to be reminded sometime. So I going to revive myself in Magda's eyes. The beautiful woman that next to Heidi is Jocelyn Brison, that, or Bryson, I think it's Brison, who just won Canadian Nationals over Sarah Wilson, I believe, that Sarah took third. So I think that there's a, there's a reason for the match. I feel like they really want to beat up on each other. So, that so that's the match. first and third place Canadian champions from just a few weeks ago? She, she, Sarah took third right-handed. Jocelyn took first. The leg is on the left here. But left-handed, Sarah won it. And Jocelyn took second. So okay. there's a left. So they like right there in the ballpark. I guess it's a really good woman match, regardless if you like know it. These about. are Magnus' two best friends that live up the street. Uh, Come on, she uh, just needed uh, to put. She didn't want to do the the short pay per view like us, so she added her neighbors. Uh, I love it. Uh, okay, so and now we're left with another two dudes. Well, actually, hold let me say my opinion too. I like what you said about hiding Sarah. I'm just gonna go. To be in Sarah's corner, just to be the opposite of you. However, I do love Heidi just as much as you are. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm Team Sarah for this one. I mean, do you know where Sarah, you think she is from where her normal form is that she would go into something like this? Dude, I'll, I almost feel like to me, her and Heidi both like on uh kind of active and kind of needs to get their shit together and like work really, really hard. And that's how I have a yeah. feeling for both of them. So, yeah, no. you would you'd imagine Sarah like leaves that match with Gabby and is never in that form again. Which was un- because unfortunately, me and you talked about it, and me and you talked about it like she was right there. Me talking to Sarah like in person a couple of weeks after, she's like, she thought she was f- way far, like she wasn't even close to it. I'm like, bitch, you'll beat you next week. What yeah. are you talking about? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, someone needed to take that horrible day and make it a birth, right? If we don't get worse, 
we are going to have an amazing next couple of years. You know what I mean? Because she's so unbelievably highly promotable. Her activity is, um, is, is it's easy for her to put a schedule together. Exactly. But also too, I don't know if that's, you know, you never know, right? You never know if, if, if someone really, really enjoys uh, traveling from Florida to Canada, arm wrestling for the weekend and going home. It, is it, is it enjoyable? Um, for, for, know, it's not just my choice for you, right? Yeah. You know, you'll love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I'm just wondering like if this was my wife and this was me and her and she was doing the competing and I had to lug her around, you know what I mean? Cause I was, you know, I ain't letting her go by herself anyway. Um, Cause I want to be with her. Um, so I think it's probably a, uh, probably a little different or it could be who knows so what else we got bat mask so we're we got, wondering what's up with bat mask, mask right bat mask and sergey calling the chain bat mask climbing is bat mask climbing because we know he was in the he was in the he was in the in the in the basement right with a bunch of monumental losses and then he comes to east first west and he looks just absolutely dominant Right. So does that just mean that good place to get your confidence back is in the good old America? I don't know. Um, we'll see. I'm rooting for Matt Mass, though. What a uh, he's one of those guys that, you know, he goes through those losses. And you're over here. We're on the Internet talking shit about him, saying he's terrible. He's washed up. He's gone. Then you lay eyes on him and you're like, oh, it's a bad dude. <laughs> it's a bad day in every way. He's a bad dude on and off the table. So um, my my um, relationship with Matt Math was rejuvenated over the last at East First West weekend. So okay. that, I'm back in the I'm back on the Matt Math train. That's a that's a it's a solid human being. No, yeah, I agree with you. I, we do need a beautiful Matt Mask as far as the internet goes, I think. And uh, probably for Matt too. It is a tough match. I'll be rooting for Matt. I don't, I don't know. I mean, Sergey can be tough, so that's a good one. I, I have no idea. No idea. Yeah, but, pretty much. You, you, you talked me into it. Sergey's going to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. We'll be, uh, we'll be nice to see, because Sergey is a little versatile. You know what I mean? And he has broke his left arm before, so he might want to break the right one, too. Like, he's got his <laughs> kid. He can do whatever. So, whatever happens. If he dies, he dies. Exactly. The guy has a heart, so it will be a nice match. Um, people want to remind us that Matt did beat Krasimir, so we have that going for him as well. Uh, and final match of the court, Todd Hutchings and John Zeng. Yeah, I've been downplaying this a lot because I'm, once again, a little jealous. I probably should have been the promoter of this match. And I, I dropped the I dropped the ball and Magna <laughs> picked Magna picked it up, which payback is coming, Magna, for that. Oh um, you, I remember you wanted to do it. I remember you wanted to do it. Yeah, I mean I get these great ideas, but sometimes the follow-through is not uh is not as uh detailed. So but I you know I definitely think that this is uh this is awesome, like beyond awesome. And I mean the, you know, how truly friendly friends these guys are is up in the air. They both act like they're buddies, but ah, I don't know. You don't even see them around together, actually, right? Nah, nah. It's like, yeah, it's weird. And both of them, man, are the ghosts, right? There ain't no doubt about it. I believe that, uh, you know, if you was, you would, you'd, you'd find it easier if John and Todd were both in the same room and you had to show your loyalty. It would be easier to go over to John, but hard to look at Todd when you were sitting over there because any other time, if you're an American, you're rooting for both of those guys every single time they arm wrestle. Every time. Like, it's on. So, um, I mean... A part of me just doesn't want Todd to win because he would be hurting the man, the my hero, right? But 
knowing for a hundred percent fact that John is going to attempt to be dominant, a dominant, right? He's going to attempt to side pressure, out angle, overwhelm, win pretty easily. Um, that'll be his goal in the first round or two. If he's successful, I know in that third round that he's going to get arm to arm with him. The only reason that wouldn't happen is if he had too much trouble closing him the conventional way of trying to go outside and work it that way. So it is, it's on, it's on in every way. I mean, Todd can beat him. Todd can beat him. Um, there just ain't no doubt about it. So it's, it's, uh, I'm just, to me, it'd be awesome if John was handily up to nothing, because then I could live with the fact that he let him in the match and then end up losing three, two. You know what I mean? Like that's, I, I can live with that. I got you. I got you. I'm the opposite. I will war. I will want to die for Todd to win this match because that's my that's my ultimate father. But um, I see. But it's hard, right? It'd be hard. You were in the room and you jumped over there. Would you look John in his face and be like, "Go, Todd," or you just kind of look at the ground? Oh uh, like, yeah, I, I will. I will. I'll be outside. Uh, the best. Yeah, I mean, like I don't want either one of them catching me rooting for the other. Yeah, the best way you know for me, I mean? the best way for me is stay at home and watch it on my phone. Yeah, nobody knows my opinion. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So, but the way I just see it, just the way it's gonna go, without like my emotions being involved, which is impossible. Uh, John wins it convincingly, right? And as you said, he might give it. He go inside the last one, and uh, I feel like he will be too much even in there too. Just too big. Just yeah, just the too strong. Yeah, I don't know at this point. Like I feel like John's pronation or something, some of his attributes at this point will be a little bit too much for Todd to be in it. Yeah. But I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm truly hoping I'm wrong, but you know, I feel like that's how it's gonna go. So I don't know. I don't know. John was acting. John wanted to grab my hand at that Virginia finals, but you stepped in like no, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. So yeah, that's going to be interesting. We have $2.